What is up, everyone? Welcome to CFL SmackDown 110 here at Campus Cards and Games by UCF. Uh, round one doubles. We're just starting, like, right away. Yeah, we've got Falcon and Fox versus Fox and Falco. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. All I know is that Silence Ghost is the he's the guy all the way on the right in the blue. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure he is Fox, playing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's Blue Fox. Yeah. Uh, I'm. I would be. Uh, it would be disingenuous if I said that I knew who the other players' tags are. I know of them. Like, I've seen them around here. You know what I mean? Like, they come out to all the events. I'm not gonna lie, I just don't know their tag tags off the top of my head. I have no idea who people are except for Silence Ghost. But we shall see once we get the bracket information see. and everything ported over. Mm. Uh, the Falcon got a pretty decent edge guard, though. Yeah, that was a really good edge guard. How do you feel about Fox? Falcon as a team. I think it's a really, like, it's a pretty easy team to play well, uh -huh. but it's like, it has a low, like, ceiling relative to other good teams. I feel that. I feel the same way. And it's that, like, both like, I think it's an easy team to play really well. Uh -huh. like it's, because the it's combos are sort of... Well, like, not like, just that, the combos are very, like, easy to do. The team combos and yeah, everything. Yeah, exactly. And they kill really quickly. Yeah, they, like, it literally is, like, a four-piece, and then they're dead. Yeah. Because it ends with a knee, like, every yeah, single like time. Yeah, like, knee, like, like, something, like, something, smash, something, knee, something, knee. something, knee, and then they're just dead. You yeah. know what I mean? So I think it's a pretty easy team to get the hang of, but uh -huh. uh, ultimately, I think it struggles against all of, like, the really, really good teams, because Falcon's just, like, sort of a bad... Um, not bad, but uh, below... Like, well, I guess not below average. Either. He's above average, but he's not, like, in the top tier of right, right, team's right. characters. He, would you say that he struggles against uh, other really strong teams, say, like, uh, like uh, Fox? Yeah. I mean, Fox with Fox Sheik. Fox with Sheik, Fox uh, with Marth, Sheik, Fox, Fox, Marth. Fox, Falco. Or, I'm sorry, Sheik, Peach, sort Fox of thing. with any top tier character is probably a better team than uh -huh. Fox Falcon, just because Falcon struggles with, like, he struggles with infighting. He doesn't have very good close right. quarters um, options. So and that's really big in teams specifically. Yeah, his like his like best close quarter options are like grab and yeah. like Nair, you know what I mean, right? Yeah. And like and even Nair's then really Nair's slow. even then like Nair is still like really slow and it's kinda big too. Yeah. So if you're in like a really tight scuffle and you don't wanna like like you your basic option is to like throw out this huge hitbox that's like still really slow and it's yeah. not really gonna the, right now this Falcon was doing work before he killed yeah. himself, but they have a stock um, lead here. And he said yeah. Oh Rip. no! Not sure how that happens. <laughs> no. But yeah, ultimately that's like the biggest thing. It's like he doesn't have the I, I always compare the team to Fox Sheik because I think they play sort of similarly, but No, what are you doing? He's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Um but I always compare it to Fox Sheik because I think they have sort of a similar dynamic. Uh-huh. But like Falcon's combos are a lot easier to do than the Fox Sheik combos because they kill way faster, right. so there's a lot less um like you don't have to extend them very long. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the problem, the trade-off is that like, you sh like Sheik is better at fighting in like a two v one or in, like, oh, yeah, she's yeah. off on her own. Yeah, she's better just fighting. She has down smash and F tilt, uh -huh. things like that to sort of just like. Yeah, fight she back. has like she has like really fast hitboxes that come out like in front of her, behind her yeah. as well, and kind of like all around her too. If yeah. you can like manipulate the space well. Yeah, Falcon doesn't have any fast hitboxes, so that's one of his big struggles in teams. But they're doing well. Uh, I think the, the team with the Falcon won that, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, they did okay. The Falcon was going, was getting, he was getting some pretty decent offstage edge guard, which is mm -hmm. good to see. Oh yeah, for sure. He was like, like that's uh, that's definitely one of like his strengths, specifically like against other species. Uh, like the soft knee. Yeah. Into like whatever you want, like up air or even nothing is just so good against space animals yeah. if you can kind of like, because you can cover like such a broad arc. Yeah. You know what I mean? Of like where they're going yeah. to recover. Hashtag. Oh. Um, but the other thing, the other thing is his knee, his moves are also strong, so they're like, if you land a knee on someone, even. Even if it doesn't kill oh. them, it'll like it's kind of like the Nana effect when you're fighting against ice, yeah, where yeah. it'll separate them. And like you need someone really far off stage or really far away, and then you can go sort of like beat up their teammate. Yeah, that's fantastic in doubles. Hey. Time is of the essence. Yeah, time is like the biggest resource. It's like one of the things I really like about teams is that it you have a resource that you kind of yeah. need to manage. Like in singles, you that's don't one really of my favorite any... things too. How it, like it really has like the time management kind of yeah, like, like in the background. Oh, but yeah, like in singles, there's no resources to manage. Like in a lot of other fighting games, but in teams, you have to actually manage your time, and that's like a very important thing with like um, you don't want to take too long with yeah. like higher with big interactions and things like that. You want to try to go for it's, the fast. It's definitely like nuanced too. Yeah, you know what I mean, because like you, there are definitely times when you will want to be like, oh, I'm gonna take my time with this so that way yeah. I can like, I can like preoccupy this guy. My teammate can do blah blah blah. Oh, just downer. Oh my god, <laughs> the edge got like three kills. Oh, what are we doing? He oh. just had to press R, and the Falcon yeah. was dead, but he, he, they cleaned it up. Yeah. 
Falcon does get the big benefit in teams of like uh, his bad recovery not being as um, big of a deal. <laughs> What? Yeah, that's, that was dumb. It's not as big of a deal that because um, it, it requ like Falcon requires a lot of time to edge guard. Your, you know what uh -huh. I mean? Like you have to keep back him over and yeah, over yeah, and over. Yeah. And so if you have a teammate that's just sort of like coming in to break stuff up and like draw their attention away, he, yeah. he makes it back more often than not. And him living so long and like him being like a very heavy character makes him live forever. In oh yeah, for sure. Which is as, a, as opposed to like in singles where like if you get him off stage, like the edge guard is literally yeah, yeah, like yeah. rinse and repeat because there's nothing you can do. Yeah, but in teams you don't have time to rinse and repeat a lot of the time. Oh. E. Oh. oh, it is a teammate, but uh, that was almost pretty sneaky. All right, if uh, green team can, green team can like kill the Falco right now, they might still be in this. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Falcon oh. at very high, at uh, not very high percent, but like he's definitely up there. This is Falcon. He'll he's he'll Falcon. He'll, he'll, yeah. He'll as long as his teammates like running over to help anytime he gets knocked off stage, he'll live for a decent while. Oh. Oh, he hits his back as his teammate. Oh, he's oh just no. It. Yeah, now he's dead, but he picks up the... Oh, no, he couldn't save him. Oh, that should be... Oh, okay. Yeah. He could have right. just, like, down aired and gotten a pretty easy, like, edge guard off of there. Oh, he should be fine, right? Oh, not. I thought he was going to drop low enough. He's dead. Yeah, there you go. Okay, 1-1. One, one. is 1-1. One, one. We still don't know the names of the uh, green team green here. Green team? Jimmy. I'll figure it out. Who yeah. are these people? Please. Because... Mystery, Mystery Green Team, Mystery Falcon and Fox. <laughs> um, so like a decent counter pick for um, the Green Team in this situation. Uh, where was Game One? I forgot already. Uh, Battlefield Arena. Battlefield. Oh yeah. yeah. So they're going to FD. FD is a pretty decent stage. Um, I might. Be, I feel like it kind of favors um, Fox and Falcon in this because they have more. Like they have better singles combos. Yeah. For for they have better. Uh, Solo combos for a team's environment. Like that makes sense. Falco um, can put on a lot of damage really fast on his own. Fox can put on a lot of damage really fast on his own. Falcon can't really do that because his big like uh, like his best way to combo people is really just to sort of like tech chase them. Yeah, just to, like grab them over and over and, and over. You don't have that luxury in teams a lot of the time. Right, that makes sense. And that's kind of what the stage favors. It either favors like uh, like better teams combos or better one v one interact like better splits. Uh, but right now he's tech chasing. Oh, he overshoots the knee. Oh. Oh, grabs the ledge. He gets the. I kind of would have honestly would have liked to see a down air there. At least just like hit him. Yeah. And then like, like you know, either like see if his uh, teammate needs a hand, or even yeah. maybe try to continue the edge guard. It's just like you know his stomp is like so big and it like goes like really far yeah, like it's horizontal like very wide to him. Box. Yeah. So like you can like literally just be on save and stage and like be safe and like throw out the hitbox. Nice, back there. He's dead like, though. He didn't double jump. Um, yeah, 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 one thing Fox, the um, green Fox, is doing that he could really be making a lot of use of his um, his like shines because he's not really using shine. That was sick. He did down air up tilt uh, up yeah, smash. Those, no one ever does uh, down air up tilt. I think that's a really good combo. Um, but yeah, he's not making use of his like shines into like Fal into Falcon's moves, which is a big part of how this team dynamic works out. Is um, Fox Fox sort of like runs around on the ground, gets ran lots of like random shines yeah. in close quarter situations, and Falcon's sort of on the outside, picking up with like knees and stomps and grabs yeah, that makes and, sense. in situations. Because like the shine will push people so far, like, yeah. you know. And that's sort of how like the team should. Oh, geez, what what was, that? was that? Yeah, that's sort of how the team dynamic should work. Um, if everything's sort of everyone's like like playing. lining up, perfectly. yeah, everything's yeah. lining up well. Because Fox should be the aggressor and just sort of like um, like making space for Falcon to yeah. be able to like. Um, keep himself safe and like um, fish off of hits. Oh, that sucks. No, he's not going to make it back. Well, this game was very interesting. I don't really know what happened. <laughs> Aww. Trying to be cool. And he should be dead. And he should be dead. Shine him. Oh, oh that would have been oh, cool if he got yeah, that off. That would have been though. really dope. <laughs> Come on. Alright, if you're going to be cool, you got to do something cool and stop hitting your teammate. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Young Larry and Captain G uh, moving on over Silence Ghost and Big T. Is the so bracket 